Welcome to the shop. A buddy of mine had asked me to build some dab tools for smoking of the concentrates, I guess. So here's that, just a little a sixteenth of an inch stainless steel do funcus. Um, and I, I don't have a shop press, so I'm gonna build one. But that's a pretty okay dab tool, I suppose. See if I can get that close enough. It's supposed to be accurate within 10 centimeters, so maybe that's about 10 centimeters. Yeah, who knows? But it's pretty nice for what it is. Um, and I'm gonna move on to something else. I'm probably building a shop press, kind of on my list of things to do. What I want to do is like this is the the type of dab tool that they're ordering, and you can see there how that's pressed, like that's from done with a shot press with a consistent amount of force. I hammered these out on the anvil, um, and you can really tell that I hammered them out on the anvil. So a little tiny jeweler's anvil, but still hammered. Um, so the goal is going to be to build a shop press so that I can accomplish that of, of all the silly things to build a shop press for. But, uh, you know, I need a shop press one way or the other. It's going to be really small as far as shop presses go. So that'll be fun because uh, it's a small shop. So only have so much room. I have an old bottle jack that, that I don't even know. I think I was, <coughs> I think I was still, uh, uh, in my teens when when that was purchased I live in Port Orchard Washington and there used to be uh, shucks when that you remember shucks I remember shucks there used to be a shucks auto parts down on Mile Hill and that's where that jack was purchased when I was a kid and I actually needed one um, and now I'm an adult and I've got a better jack and this jack some 30 plus years later is still here so, uh, I'm going to take it apart and use the piston for something else. Okay, a little bit of work later, uh, and we have a piston, which with uh, a healthy pile of fabrication later will turn into a shop press. And I don't know like how many tons this is. I think it was like a two-ton jack or something. But that's all I only need really like one ton of pressure. So, so, and it's got some stuff and some things and a little bar, which is good because it'll make putting a spring on it to have it pull back up easier and, and, and. So this will be the project Oh, I guess I was filming. So <laughs> this will be the project for the next few days um, because I need it. I need to build it uh, out of all things. And sorry, not sorry, Jack. So there's parts all over the floor down there that uh, will most likely get used in a portion of this build. Um, and there's a couple of tools I don't have that I'd really like to own, uh, not excluding a boring head which would make this process, pardon the pun, but less boring, <laughs> uh, what possible in the meantime. So, huge amount of cleaning later. And is the cylinder still in any kind of good shape? That's, that's the debate, right? The cylinder looks like it's holding up pretty good. Not too shabby. It looks like the whole thing comes apart. And I believe, <laughs> if there is such a thing as a lifetime warranty, uh, I am the original owner. I bought that. I could probably take that jack back and get a new one, but why? When this, this is all I need is the piston, of all things. So... A whole lot of cleaning later and
we'll see where we where we're where we're at here in a in a while. Like I'm gonna clean like obsessively for a while. Whole bunch of thread cleanup later, uh, and this piece, this piece is back where it should be. Um, and this piece, just a, a cotter pin type apparatus down here, um, which I'll probably use for the spring to pull the thing back up. Cause this is just gonna be a ram to to push things down. So I got I gotta build a frame and some other things for this, but that's off to the side. I'm not feeling 100% today, but that's okay. Uh, I used a triangle file to repair a lot of those threads in junction with a die. So that worked out pretty okay. And I'm gonna put tools away and check out for the afternoon. Okay, I found it. So I wanted to be able to take arc shots of welding and I'm, I'm not sure how some of the, the more established channels do it, but I have a, a spare lens I use for guests. Um, and there's just a camera fixed to the back of it and I, I haven't solved for how to to keep it from, from popping out and stuff. I'll probably just use a couple of rubber bands or something uh, and fake it. But hopefully this will make for some arc shots or some kind of interesting something or another. Like, I don't know. Like, I won't know until I build it, I suppose. So uh, there's a few shops, a few shop things and a few updates. Uh, and that's what I got right now. So take a minute and like and subscribe if it suits you. Uh, it goes a long ways in my world. And I'm just going to keep moving in the shop. I'll look forward to seeing y'all next time. Well, apparently I'm recording video. How about that? Cheers.